It's a special taste of home dinner this evening with this beautiful beef tenderloin that we're going to turn into medallions and we're gonna serve it with a nice sauce and some veggies. I can't wait to get started. I've got a grill pan already heating up right here. But this little beauty is just a tenderloin, but we're actually going to turn it into some filet mignons, which are the medallions. What we wanna do is cut about an inch in and I'm gonna make four little medallions. All right, now that we've got these four medallions cut, what I'm gonna do is just kind of salt and pepper them very liberally. Like I said, I've got this pan heating up. I'm gonna kind of flatten them with just the palm of our hands. The meat is very tender. Mmm, nice sea salt. Make sure that's all pushed into the meat. And listen to this. Oh. We want that pan to be hot enough to sear this meat. And the hardest thing is, is that you don't want to keep messing with it. You just want to let it sear those juices in. Okay, all right, it's time to take these out. Notice I'm using tongs so I don't poke at them at all. They just, oh, look at those beautiful marks right there. Now they aren't quite done, but we're gonna put them back into our sauce. And the sauce we're gonna make really fast because we're using Zip It. Zip It is one of my favorite, like, finishing sauces, and it's so delicious and rich. We're gonna take one stick of butter and take advantage of all of those juices that are still in the pan. This is what the zip it looks like. Okay, so it's about two ounces of zip it for each stick of butter. So it's, like I said, a finishing sauce. Oh, man, that smells good. You can smell that blue cheese in there. Nice. Now, from here on out, we're just gonna take our tenderloins and put them right back in to this sauce. So they get the flavors. We just want them in there for a few seconds because we don't wanna overcook them because this is such a great cut of meat. Okay, check this out, you guys. This is what these medallions look like. We've got all this juice in the bottom. We're gonna put that over some mashed potatoes and some vegetables that I've cooked up. There's some carrots, some asparagus, and some caramelized onion. I mean, that's perfect for this kind of dinner. So I'm gonna put the tenderloin right in the center, just like that. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and put these all on here to make it real pretty. Oh, now the sauce. And this will be really great with the potatoes and the veggies. Look at that plate. Are you ready to eat? Because I am. 